the dawn of time, man has wondered how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. But frankly, I'm not concerned with that. What I want to know is how many mirrors does it take to, to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. All right, here we go. Kind of swelling happening on the bottom there, maybe? Looks like it. Whoa. Looks like that's about to drip. I did not see that. There it is. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now this is most outstanding. This thing sure is making a mess, isn't it? So it looks like what happened is the candy shell sort of cracked away and let the molten chocolate inside drip out, which is what it's doing now that it's heated. And no smoke even. I'm impressed. <laughs> I think we've surpassed Marshmallow Peeps in the most stickiest episode yet. Oh no! There it goes. Ooh, there it goes. That is nasty. See, melted at a pretty low temperature, it should be cold enough to touch. Yeah. Ah. I would consider eating this, but it's got all this gravel and dust stuck in it now. So, um, I won't. Huh. It's formed of, like stalactites. Of mult of Tootsie Pop, there. It's one of the most incredible things I've seen this week. So now know that you can destroy a Tootsie Pop using solar power. But since this turn was a bit shorter than I anticipated, just for fun, I'm gonna burn the wrapper as well. Okay, let's try out this Tootsie Pop paper. Whoa, that was fast. Holy crap! 
That is making a lot of smoke. And it stinks too. I can't tell if that's blackened parts or if it just stains from the chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, no actual flames gonna come of this. Cool. crumbles at my touch. It's a bit flick away. Alright. See you next time.